Hi everybody, welcome back to Drum Psychology. This month's episode is going to be talking about the importance of this part of our human brain. This is the frontal cortex or the frontal lobe and psychologists and neuroscientists have studied it and what we know is that this is the most highly advanced part of the human brain and the functions of this part of the brain involve some of the most uh, advanced forms of, of human behavior. It involves planning, uh, judgments, and decision-making. And psychologists and neuroscientists kind of put these all into the category of executive functions. This part of the brain is, is so important for our daily lives. Uh, it's so uh, critical for our survival that sometimes we take it for granted uh, that we're using this very, very uh, highly evolved area of our brain. I'd like to tie that in though today with the uh, benefits that you can see in drumming and in your drum playing. And one of the things that we as drummers have to do is make musical decisions. It's an important concept that uh, I continue to work on. It's definitely a concept that I teach students about. And, you know, decision making in, in music involves, you know, as a drummer, do you play a little more forcefully in parts of a song or do you need to lay back? Uh, do you um, you know, do you need to set up the chorus for the band? How do you do that? What kind of musical decision do you have to make to uh, maybe help the band get into a bridge in a song? So these are all various things that are important for playing music and certainly important for drummers. And there's a lot of uh, videos and books that talk about specific musical uh, decisions and notes and things that you would do. Uh, this video is going to talk mostly about, though, how we can use the frontal cortex and kind of engage it more in our daily life so that when it comes time to make a musical decision, you're utilizing more of this, this frontal cortex in that process. So let's talk about three tips that uh, I can give you, three tips that will allow you to uh, hone in on using your frontal cortex to aid uh, better decision making. So the first thing that uh, the frontal cortex responds to is more difficult tasks. If you can engage the front part of your brain in more difficult tasks, things that involve a little bit more steps or maybe a, a little bit more involved uh, mentally, that's going to help your brain. It's not the easiest thing to do and we tend to shy away from uh, really difficult things and, and go for the easier route. But it is true that in terms of neuroscience, the more difficult the function is, the more difficult the behavior is, the more the brain will respond. And our frontal cortex is really amazing in, in that if you engage in more difficult tasks, uh, myelination and, and fat that insulates the axons of our brain cells, which actually helps this part of our brain function faster and better, uh, more difficult tasks will allow that myelination to form and you'll get a more robust and healthier brain. The second thing you can do is get yourself involved in more planning uh, of your practice routine and your, and your playing. Again, planning is a big part of the frontal cortex. Uh, so if you can find ways to plan your practice schedule, uh, get a routine down on a weekly, monthly, and maybe even a yearly basis, uh, set some goals for yourself, plan what you wanna do in your practice sessions. Uh, maybe the practice sessions involve um, you know, themes where you work on different styles of music or listen to certain drummers and try to emulate and uh, you know kind of understand how they're playing uh, certain songs or solos. So if you engage in planning behavior on a regular basis, you're gonna utilize this part of your brain and it'll get stronger and stronger over time. And one of the best things I think we can do as drummers is plan our practice sessions again. Plan out what you're going to do, uh, get a routine down, and not only will that help you, help you musically, of course, but it will help you uh, strengthen and use the frontal cortex of your brain. The last thing I would say about um, increasing frontal lobe function is a variety of lifestyle factors. And these aren't going to be uh, things you've never heard of. Uh, the most difficult thing is putting these things into your life and applying them. Uh, we often know good things that we should do, but it's, it's hard to apply them. So these lifestyle factors include things like, uh, you know, your attitude, a positive, healthy attitude has been shown to um, help brain function, including the frontal cortex function. Uh, healthy attitudes decrease stress. You know, stress hormones are not good for healthy brain development. And uh, musicians uh, want to work around other 
positive and happy musicians. Uh, I've read in many, many uh, magazines and, and heard many interviews of professional drummers that say, you know, if the person has a good attitude and they're more positive and upbeat, you know, those people tend to be the ones that get more jobs, they keep more gigs uh, that they get, uh, because people want to be around socially happy and, uh, and well-rounded individuals. The other thing you can do is, is watch, you know, a variety of things like sleep patterns, uh, eating patterns, exercise patterns. These are all healthy lifestyle factors that you should incorporate into your life. Again, apply them as best you can because we know all of those things will affect your overall brain function and your overall frontal lobe function. So eat healthy, sleep regularly, uh, exercise uh, regularly and get um, and get a routine that you can do consistently. All those things are going to feed over into your brain development, your brain function. And of course it has an impact on your music. The things that we do in our daily life will feed over into our musical play. And I, I totally believe that and have seen it happen in my life that, you know, when things aren't in balance with diet, exercise, um, sleep patterns, you know, these, these things will affect the, the music you play. And so it's, it's important to pay attention to those as an adult. And it's important to manage those things so that you don't let them get out of control. And then I'd say the last thing is, you know, watch out for vices that we have. We all like certain things and uh, it's, it's trying to keep all those things in, in moderation, uh, especially alcohol consumption. I know that uh, that can be a touchy topic for some folks, but uh, excessive alcohol consumption and the scene related to playing music and uh, maybe playing in bars and, and venues like that. Uh, it's part of the uh, social environment and we all understand that. But excessive uh, drug and alcohol use, of course, has a negative impact on our, our health and our body. And our brain is just another one of the organs that is affected. And it's the most important organ because it drives everything that we do. So doing those things in moderation and controlling them will certainly uh, help you use your frontal lobe better. And again, that frontal lobe is going to be more developed and allow you to make better decisions, especially in the musical realm. A um, couple final thoughts uh, for you before we end this episode. A uh, couple challenging things that I like to do. Uh, as I said at the front of the video, you know, the more challenging things you do for your brain, the better. Uh, learn hybrid rudiments. That's something I've uh, started to look at. Uh, I know some of the rudiments, but I don't know a lot of the hybrids. And so challenge your brain. Take some of those hybrids, find some books, uh, some recent books that are out there uh, that talk about the hybrid rudiments. They're very challenging. They're hard to do. Uh, work on those sorts of things. Listen to different styles of music. Uh, challenge, the, uh, the, the challenge the playing and ultimately your brain uh, in that realm, maybe pick some odd time signatures that you're not familiar with. Break out of some ruts and some uh, patterns that are too familiar and too easy for you and go down the more difficult path. Again, the brain will respond. It won't uh, necessarily think you're doing the easiest thing and you may have to stay motivated, but uh, you, can, you can perform those things if you have a plan. And if you get a routine going, I think there's no doubt that uh, many people have shown that they can uh, engage in those healthy behaviors over time. So that's it for this month. Uh, try to take some of these tips and apply them to the best you can in your life. Try to use the uh, frontal cortex of your brain uh, as much as you can in your everyday life. Find ways to strengthen the function of this part of your brain. It'll have huge impacts on how you plan and how you judge uh, your life and how you make uh, better decisions, including the musical decisions that you'll want to make behind the drum kit. I hope this information helps you. And next month I'll come back with another video. It's going to be related to things in psychology and neuroscience that can help you become a better drummer. Thanks for watching this month's episode and I'll see you again next month.